Hey everybody, welcome. Uh, you're probably sick and tired of seeing this ages list here, but don't worry, in this lesson we're gonna get rid of it. But I do wanna talk about it, or use it as an example really quick. So in this lesson, we're actually gonna look at something called 2D arrays or lists. So I put array here, even though what we're doing in Python, actually I'll put this for a 2D list in Python, or arrays in other languages. So most of the stuff you see outside of Python, things like uh, C++ and Java and C and, and some of these other big languages, they use arrays. And Python use lists and they're very, very flexible. So to give you an example, here are things that you can do an array versus a list. So things you can do with an array and things you can do with a list. Uh, with a list in Python, so let me put this as Java and put this as Python. Okay. So in an array in Python, they have to all be the same type. Okay, and let's go ahead and this is nice here. They have to all be the same type, meaning if you make something of make an array of floats, they all have to be floats. If you make an array of integers, they're all integers or characters or strings. Okay, and it can't change length. Okay, so once you make it, it's always the same size every single time. And that's, that's both good and bad. Both of these things are both good and bad. And, and using this actually makes your program run faster. But it's not that big of a deal when you're doing smaller programs. List in Python. So list in Python. Uh, any type you want. Uh, length can change. Okay, and you can do a couple other things with list that you can't do. An array, uh, it's much harder to do splicing and with an array, and it's harder to do many other different things with an array that you can do with a list in Python. So for example, if I want to do this, a string inside here Python doesn't care if I did this in C or Java it would complain the program would crash it stop working all right so lists are awesome for Java and it's great for learning but if you just look at Python you're not going to get a lot of the stuff you need when you look at your exams or anything like that so I highly encourage you uh, to take a look at some of the resources I'm going to be posting on the website uh, that goes along with this video because it'll show you other languages and the arrays and stuff. Or you can just do do a search, do Java arrays, and look at how it, how creating an array is different in Java than it is in in Python. Okay, so 2D list. Uh, we're not going to use ages anymore. I'm going to give you an example of how you can create a 2D list and something a little bit more relevant, I suppose. So I'm actually going to get rid of all of this. And we're gonna make a tic-tac-toe board. So this tic-tac-toe board needs a 2D list. Well, what is a 2D list? Uh, and why would we need it for a tic-tac-toe board? Well, tic-tac-toe board is really just gonna be something like, if I made the whole board, it could look like, right? Could be something like this. And a 2D list is really just kind of like a spreadsheet. It's going to have a rows and it's going to have columns. And in our case, we have three rows and three columns. So that means the tic-tac-toe board, if I made, actually, yeah, so in this case, the O's one or the zeros one. And I, let's, make, let's make it an O so it looks more like a, there we go. It's beautiful now. Uh, so in this case, I actually want it to look like this. I want my board to be like this. So the tic-tac-toe, in, in this case, the first element of my tic-tac-toe list is actually gonna be another list. It's gonna be, uh, in this case, x and o and x, okay? So I have these elements here, and I put a comma, 
and I'm gonna put another element. But let's first, let's look at this. So if I were to print tic-tac-toe zero, so the zero element, I, it will print that whole list inside there. And if I want to access this part of the list, well, I can access it by doing that. Okay, so this is, this is what a two-dimensional array looks like in other languages. You see it, and it looks just like this. In Python, it's a little bit easier to actually define them, and, and it's a little bit easier to kind of understand just by looking at this. In other languages, you have to define it ahead of time. Uh, but this case, if I want to access this one, this first number is the row, and the second number is the column. So this would be the first, the, the zero row, and this is the zero column, zero, zero. So what I'm gonna do is the same thing I did last time. I'm gonna put a zero here, and a one here, and a two here. And then I'm gonna put over here my column. So this is the zero column. Okay. And so if I want to print this one out, I get a zero, and then of course, this I get an X. Okay, so now let's add some more. Uh, let's add some more here. And let's go ahead, I'm gonna actually copy this so I don't have to type everything again. And let's go ahead and put these other things in here. Okay, so now I have my second row, which is the second index. So the zeroth row, the first, uh, the, and the um, next row, okay, and the second index, or the third row, and this is the row on which the O's have one. Yeah, usually X goes first, whatever, we're playing our own version of tic-tac-toe. Uh, so we have five O's, and we have four X's, and we've got a grid here, and if I do this, I still get the X that is printed here by doing this, but now, if I want to see what is at this element here, it's the first row and the second column. And when I say first row, it's not actually the first row, it's the first, the index first row. So this is the, the index zero. This is the zero row. This is the first row. This is the second row. This is the zero column, the first column, the second column. And if I print that, I get this one, okay? So this is what a two-dimensional array looks like. And if, it's a very simple two-dimensional array here. And later on though, you're gonna have some massive two-dimensional arrays because you will be doing things like uh, looking at a screen and mapping every pixel on your screen. So it, it, your resolution on your screen might be like 1200 times 720. So keep in mind like, if you're drawing all of these pixels on the screen, this is a massive number and your array is massive. It's pretty small on a computer, but it's pretty, it's massive in, uh, in just numbers like based on what a human would be able to compute. Tic-tac-toe board, much easier. So this board right here, uh, we will call this, this is a three, uh, three by three, or three by three array or list. Okay, so it's three by three. Why is it three by three? Well, because it's three elements by three elements. And of course you're saying, yeah, but it only goes up two here. Why don't I call it a two by two array? This is just one of those things. It's, you, sometimes we're telling you how many elements are in each one, and then the index is telling you the name of that row. So this is the, the zero, one, two, that's three items, and then zero, one, two, that's three items. So. If I said a two by two array, it's gonna be at four total items. Three by three array will be nine, and a four by four array is 16, and so on. So this is a three by three by three. I'm gonna get rid of this one, I don't need it anymore. This is a three by three, or um, I can write it like this or like this, array or list. Okay, so this is the idea behind 2D arrays and you can actually make more if you wanted like if you you could do a three by three which means in this case i would make each one of these things here would become a new array so a new list inside of that there'd be a list inside a list inside a list and that would be a three-dimensional list okay all right so how do i access all of these what if i want to print all of these out 
Well, we've done something similar, or we've done the code that you would need in order to print all of these items out, and that is a nested for loop. So I'm gonna say I in the range of tick of zero to length of tic-tac-toe, okay? Now, that would give me the length here, okay, of how many possible items are in here. So how many possible items are in here you have you have three items, so that's going to give me three. Now, if I say uh, J in range, zero to length, tic-tac-toe, that's the same number. And in this case, it would work, but I will show you why that's not a good idea in just a second. So we're going to do print, tic-tac-toe, and let's actually, let's do this, let's call this, uh, let's call this row, and let's call this column and let's do row and column. Okay, and now let's go ahead and we're gonna print these out. And first thing you're gonna notice is it's pretty ugly because it prints it out like that. We wanted to print it out like this. So what you need to remember is end becomes nothing. And then after this, I will print just a line. So now if I do this, I get the same tic-tac-toe board. So for each row, and then I print each column out and it works just fine. Okay, so what is this again? If, if you remember, this is this n variable on print tells you that uh, normally it's this and you don't see it. It's a new line, so it goes to the next line. But I took the new line off, so it'll print everything on the same row. Now, actually, we could do something a little bit more interesting. We could put a space here, and it spaces it out all nice and neat for us. All right. So, and then this print statement, since every print statement has a new line, if I just put a blank character in here will print out as a new line. All right, so that is the idea behind 2D arrays. And it, 2D arrays are a little bit complicated and I will do a number of example programs using 2D arrays so you can get an idea of how they're used and how I might use them. Uh, now let me, let me show you why doing this is a bad idea. Because let's say that I actually am doing a three by four tic-tac-toe board because I don't know why, because I want to. And let's say there's an X here and an X here, just to differentiate things a bit. Now, if I run this, I'm gonna end up with something that says index out of range. Why am I ending up with something that says index out of range? Well, that's because I am looking here and I am using only the one thing. So let's look at what, what this value is here. Length, print, length, tic-tac-toe. So if you print this out, you get four because there, if I'm, I'm, this first statement is saying how many elements are in here? Well, there's four individual lists in here. But the problem is, is this inside loop, the column, there's only three columns. So what I need to do is I need to actually look at the first element, which is this, and find out how long that element is. If I do this, it'll print out accurately. Okay, so think about that for a second. The length of this one is the length of how many elements are between here and here, or how many commas are there. If there's three, if there's three commas, that means there's four items. So that means this length will be four. This length is saying the length of the first element in tic-tac-toe list, which is this, and it has three items in it. So this will be three, which means it won't go to four, which means it won't try, it won't get an error because the, the index is out of the range of that, of that uh, list, meaning the index is trying to access four or access the fourth element when there's actually only three elements there. So as I said, this is complicated, and I'm going to do some examples in this uh, as well as later on. I will do example whole programs. I'll do like a whole series where I'm looking at 2D arrays. And you'll, 2D arrays are very, very handy for tons of things, and you're going to use them a lot. So go back, do the practice, take a look at this stuff, try to understand how this is actually working. Okay? Um, so that's 2D arrays. I... One last thing with Python, which can make, which can pretty much blow apart all of this for you. 
uh, is sometimes, I just want you to think about this here. In Python, it doesn't matter if the lists inside are different sizes. So for example, you could make a tic-tac-toe board that looked like this. And if you make your tic-tac-toe board look like this, where this has three, one, two, and three, well, that actually makes this crash very easily. So if you run it, it's gonna crash on that second one because this is saying, well, I'm still using a length of three. So how do I fix that? Well, you fix it by doing this, okay? Uh, now, each new row, it's gonna change the length based on that row. So you could actually have a list of different sizes in each one. And this is totally different than any array in Java or C++ because those have to be fixed length. Even 2D arrays, they have to be, they have to be a square, they have to be, or a rectangle in size, meaning you would never have something in Java or Java or C++ where each row in a 2D array is a different length, but in Python you can. So as I said, Python is very flexible, but it actually gives you sometimes so much flexibility that you can really screw yourself up when you're trying to write things. Okay, and I'm gonna do tons of examples, so please don't worry, but just practice this stuff because it's so important to understand. Okay, uh, in the next video, we're gonna do a few more things with list, and then we'll do some example programs for this unit, and we'll be done with list. And we'll come back to them a whole bunch because you're gonna use them through your whole Python programming life. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments or on um, either on the website or on YouTube. And I'll see you next video.